Hello, this is Toby Bears with DMAnswers.com. Today I will demonstrate how to automate the capture of real-time stock quote data from Yahoo Finance using the SVB macro I shared in the previous post and using the Windows Task Scheduler. First let's take a look at the bash file I explained how to create earlier in this blog post. Notice that since it was saved using a .bat extend file extension that this file is recognized as a Windows batch file. I can edit this batch file by right clicking on it and selecting edit from the menu. Notice that there is the command that launches Statistica and also a command to run the macro that we have specified here. Now let's open the control panel and select administrative tools and then the task scheduler. You'll see here that I've already created a scheduled task. Stock is called stock quote. Uh, if you were to create a new task, you just go over here and click create task. For the demonstration purposes today, I will just show you the settings I chose in this particular scheduled task. I can do that by clicking on properties. You'll see here that we need to specify a user and I would recommend selecting the default setting to run only when the user is this user is logged on. The trigger tells when the batch file should be launched. For this particular scheduled task, it is scheduled to run weekly, Monday through Friday, starting at 7.30 a.m. It repeats every 15 minutes for a duration of 8 hours. You can change those settings to whatever settings you would like. I think these make sense in this particular case for gathering the stock data. The action is to start the batch file that we have already talked about. Okay, so the result is a statistical spreadsheet that starts collecting data at 7.30 a.m. and it collects the ask and bid price every 15 minutes for 8 hours. Um, I did mention in the blog post that, of course, the you know stock market closes at 4 p.m. Eastern. I'm in the mountain time zone. And so 2 p.m. is when it would normally close. There is some after hours trading, so you will see that the, the stock prices do vary a little bit after the official trading does close. Now, the reason this would, could be useful is that uh, this data could be fed into a trading algorithm that would recommend when to buy or sell a stock. And so this leads me into my next blog post that I'll be um, doing in the next two weeks or so, where I'll talk about how to create a buying and selling recommendation service using a Statistica data miner algorithm. So I thank you for watching this particular video and uh, wish you luck in uh, collecting the data that you might be able to use for a stock trading program.